Welcome to New Leash on Life. We will present to you the dramatic and heartwarming journeys of outcast pets as we rescue them from almost certain death and give them a second chance at a new life, at a happy home. We've got an incredible team of professionals. We have doctors, we've got trainers, even stylists who bring our pets from the pound all the way to the penthouse through honestly miraculous makeovers. Now, a Cinderella story in the making. This is Bodhi. Unfortunately, it looks like Bodhi had a rough background. Certainly didn't help his case being hit by a car, being put into a high volume kill shelter, and then being virtually ignored in another shelter for three months. So I think the fact that he is as sweet and loving as he is, is a testament to his, his spirit and his strength. Nearly 10 million animals a year are euthanized in the United States. And even though Bodhi was in a so-called no-kill shelter, he was in serious danger of being destroyed to make room for healthier animals. This brave little dog who has narrowly escaped death twice in just the past week will have to accomplish a nearly miraculous rehabilitation to ensure he'll get adopted. And we have a finite time in which to make this happen. If Bodhi hasn't found a good home by our deadline, like Cinderella, this sweet dog will have to return to the shelter and likely live out the rest of his life in a cage, or worse. I can't bear that idea. The first stop on our challenge to get Bodhi a loving home is Dr. Valentine, one of the so finest holistic vets in the country. This is Bodhi. Hey Bodhi, what are you doing buddy? He came with a lot of trauma. We have a dog that couldn't use either leg, either front leg. Unfortunately, there's still some nerve problem coming down to the right leg. He can use his left leg quite well, and he's starting to feel and get some return of sensation to his right leg. We've done a number of procedures for him to help facilitate recovery and full recovery, and we're gonna do more today. This has been working well for us. It's only natural that a dog like Bodhi, who has endured such overwhelming trauma, would show not only physical, but emotional scars as well. Beverly Hills pet trainer, Ali Isaacs, hopes to heal those deeply seated injuries. The most important thing for Bodhi, having been rescued, he was very traumatized. Training is a fabulous way of giving them confidence. Bodhi, sit. Good job. Sit. Okay, so he's not going to get aggressive right now. If he learns what is right and what he gets praised for, then he's going to want to give us more and more of that. And, and his own confidence is going to just build. Thanks to Dr. Valentine, Bodhi has regained muscle and nerve function commonly thought impossible. But to regain full use of his leg again, he'll have to undergo surgery. Seeking the best orthopedic surgeon takes Bodhi across the country. Well, what Bodhi has is injury to all the nerves that run down to the front leg. So what we should do first is to evaluate spinal cord integrity, and then we're going to do an MRI. I'm holding my breath because the results of today really determine the outcome of his life. Because if he's not a candidate for the operation, he will likely have that leg amputated. And that makes it a lot less likely that he will be adopted. This is our best candidate that we can have for this sort of a procedure. It's going to be a nice repair. All two of screws. All righty, let's rock and roll. Let's go to six, please. Bodhi's makeover has culminated with life-changing surgery. And now we want to give Bodhi a few surprises for his return from the hospital. We'll start with giving his foster home a makeover of its own. This is the children are creative area of feng shui, this corner is, and the element for that is metal. It's perfect placement for the bed because the bed is made with metal. We put Bodhi's favorite throw on it and a couple of extra pillows so that he can burrow into it and feel safe. And what's a makeover without a day at the spa, a shopping spree, and a delicious meal at a five-star hotel? You're gonna like this, Bodie. It'll put hair on your chest. Look, you can see we've been expecting you. 
How you doing, buddy? Right. You're all done. You've made it all the way from the town to the penthouse. Hungry? You ready for lunch? Whatever you like, the chef will prepare special for you. Bye, Bodie. I'm here with Susan and Bodie. And you know, just like in any great fairy tale, our little underdog went out and faced down death and danger to emerge as a top dog. Bodie never gave up, and look at him now. He's strong and healthy. He's so loving and affectionate. The surgery was a tremendous success. All this because of a team of the country's best professionals who have turned Bodie into a top-notch companion animal, inside and out. He's a real prince. All he needs now is his happily ever after. And if you're lucky, you could be it. If you want more unconditional love and joy in your life, just call 1-800-ADOPT-ME. Ask for Bodhi. When my husband died and I was left in this lovely home alone, it was like there was a big hole in the house. And when that hole was filled by a little dog, it made me feel like I could go on. It's hard to find people who can do that. And a little dog did, did all of that for me. It's and that was Birdie. Oh, what a sweet boy. What a sweet boy. And I will be there, yeah, yes, I'll be there. You got a friend. Hi, I'm Anne Marie Lucas, and this is a new leash on life. One of the best ways to know that you are a good person is to adopt a pet. I would much rather be hanging out with my pets and be at like some corny Hollywood party. Remember, dogs rule. And we will always be the very best friends you've ever had. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.